Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Glacia Rain, Intuitive Life Coach and Ascension Guide. And I want to start out today by welcoming the people who are new to my channel and also giving great gratitude for all of you who are returning to my channel. Um, I've really been absent a lot lately, or really over the last couple of years, I've been doing less and less because I've been going deeper and deeper within myself to do some tremendous healing. So I've been going through a dark night of my spirit for um, quite a while now. Happy to say that I'm on my way back out of it. I'm feeling stronger than ever and more clear about what is going on in my path forward within what's happening in the world. So thank you for hanging in there with me for all of you who stayed subscribed to my channel and for those of you who checked in on me, thank you. I appreciate you so much. So I wanna start out by talking about the energies of this latest cycle that we're, we're in. So some people are having completion with it already and some people are, um, still deep in it. And so what this looks like is a return of the inner parent that is very friendly and affectionate and loving, right? So we're having to go through this process of breaking down all of this stuff that we're not. Now, you don't break things down with creation energies. You break them down with destruction energies. So many of you have been feeling very destructive at times, right? And often we'll turn that destructive energy on ourselves or we'll project it out, right? So in, a, in an unhealthy way, I mean. So an example of that is blaming others, right? Or belittling yourself, bullying yourself. Okay, that's, that's how you're like turning on yourself or turning on others. So as we've had to face some pretty big fears, We've been going through, I like to call it trial by fire, because everything got burnt off through the illumination of it. So when we bring light in, we have this illumination that was not present before, right? And then we can look at what's there. And we've been doing this step after step after step. This isn't all at once. It's that we happen to be at a completion phase for many. When you're in a completion phase, life gets more and more difficult. The challenges feel bigger. Um, you feel more confused about what to do often. And this is part of the breakdown. So if you're breaking something down, you're in a destructive energy and it doesn't usually feel good, okay? The thing to know is that this is temporary. This will pass. It's not forever. It's just a process and a procedure that we go through in order to take the next step. So when we're looking within, it's important to know that if you have the feeling, some, there's something within you that is connected to that feeling regarding whatever you're observing, right? So often our subconscious mind gives us information immediately in the form of a feeling, not in um, linear words right? So not in sentences. And so often we don't understand the reaction that we're having. We just know if we feel good or if we feel bad or we like the feeling or we dislike the feeling. So when we dislike a feeling, many of us start running from ourselves, running from the trauma, running from the fears, running from the negativity, running from the meanings and stories we've applied about things, right? But now we have to stop and face all of that. So as many of us are facing our fears, we feel extremely vulnerable. We're going back into our childhoods and clearing the trauma at that level because we're going to the foundational levels to have completions. When you're in childhood trauma, you can get into black and white thinking. Okay, think about children. They, they don't have the big gray area that experience lends us. So we tend to go into this space where we feel threatened and vulnerable. We feel um, like we're babies or children. We can feel helpless and hopeless, and we can feel very confused. Now, we're going through this to have the completion and integration of the inner child. 
So when you bring the masculine and feminine into balance, that's when it's time to nurture the inner child. And many of us are having completions with the masculine and feminine inner union, which is the, the different levels of mind, right? We're having that marriage within us, and then we are moving to heal the child. So in this process, a lot of things will come up to the surface and it'll be back to back to back to back things or can be, it doesn't have to be, it can be. And it can feel like it's not going to end. And if you don't stop and face it, it's okay because it'll come back around. So these things that we're not facing, we're gonna loop through them until we have completion with them. So it's really important to just face your fears, figure out what are my fears? What am I afraid of? What am I making this mean? And start asking yourself questions. So we've got a couple of things going on. We've got people who are in completions and people who are about to complete. Okay, so just the step before the completion. And many of us that have had major completions felt like we were in a holding pattern. Like there's no progress, don't know what to do, can't move forward, nothing seems to be working out. And a lot of this has to do with your personal reset within because we're shifting our identities according to higher timelines. You can't be who you are now in a higher timeline because you'd already be there if who you are now matched that higher timeline. That's the whole process of shedding the beliefs and traumas and things that were not that don't reflect our pure consciousness and eternal um, spirit and coming to terms with where we have been placing these blocks in front of ourselves, right? So in this holding pattern, many of you have felt like nothing I do is working. I'm failing. Everything I try falls apart. It's okay because if we understand that we're all in a wave together. When we go through a big uh, completion cycle, we go through this with other people who are at the same level, right? And so for a lot of people, they're in such huge breakdowns that they've gone within and they're hiding within because they're doing their inner work. So that's when people aren't really out there in the collective, they're not speaking publicly because they're remodeling their inner being, right? So many of you have been in this process for a couple of years. It's not a quick process, but it is a necessary one. And now you're starting to wake up out of that and feeling things are starting to get better. Things are starting to happen. We're starting to pick up pace with a new momentum in a new direction. So if you think about this, if you're going in a direction and you've got great momentum in it, you know, you're going like 70 miles an hour down the, down the road, you don't just turn the car around if you realize you're going the wrong way. You slow down to a stop and then you put it in reverse or do a U-turn or whatever you need to do and you build momentum in the direction you want to go in. That's what we're doing. You can kind of view this as a pivotal moment in the timelines, okay? So this can mean that you don't feel like participating in group activities. You don't wanna connect with others. You're not returning text messages. You're not answering emails. And it's important to do, of course, do your best, but give yourself space and room to go through this transition, okay? Because if you think about it, whenever, uh, caterpillar goes into its cocoon to become a butterfly. It's not in there with other caterpillars. It's a solo journey. And that's what all of us are having to go through. Nobody can face your fears for you. Nobody can complete these different um, loose ends in your life for you. Nobody can shift your beliefs for you, but people can contribute through sharing. So when we share what works for us, when we share what we've learned, from a loving space, right? It can help others. Um, I had one of the biggest transformations of my entire year of 2022, which I'm really glad is done now. Uh, but a friend in my life was so strong and held so much strength in his presence that it, it activated something within me and reminded me of my strength and who I am. And if he hadn't been there in that capacity, 
I don't know if I would have gone through the activations or had such, um, I feel like he lent me his strength. And so that was just in sharing and being open with others, right? So when we're willing to connect with others, when we're willing to be vulnerable and we're willing to acknowledge when we're afraid, we can align with experiences that are the exact support we need. We just have to know that we desire it and then trust that it's coming in for us because we have the desire for it. So as we're completing all these loose ends, you may feel a need. Now I said you're not going to want to connect with others, right? Or you may not want to, but you may feel a need to connect with people who you've had incomplete experiences with, right? So this is wrapping up loose ends with exes or with friends that you've had a falling out with or people you have wronged or felt you have wronged or people who you believe have wronged you, right? Um, I just went through this thing of going through all my stuff and anything that belonged to anybody else. And it's not that I took it, it just got left with me or fell out in my car, whatever. But I made sure that I sent everybody's stuff back to them because I'm in this huge completion too, but that's what it can look like. It can look like seeking forgiveness from somebody that you had experiences with that you really wish never happened. Even though you honor the growth from it, you, you know, you're acknowledging where you didn't show up as your best. So a lot of this is where we're taking accountability for ourselves. When we take accountability for our actions and choices, rather than try to hide them within the shadow body, then we're able to progress forward much easier because if you're unwilling to face something and acknowledge it exists, then you're not going to heal it, right? You're going to keep running from it. So if you try to pretend it doesn't exist and you run away from it, eventually you'll stop and it'll still be there, okay? So if you're feeling the need to seek forgiveness from others, or you're feeling the need to have a completion of a certain phase of your life with another, this is why. So follow through with those if you feel guided to do so. Okay, and if it's not possible to do so, do it mentally. Go through a process of seeking forgiveness and giving it as well. One of the things that we can experience too is feeling like we're at a breaking point. When you're in a completion cycle, you feel like I just cannot do another day of this. I am unwilling to move forward with this. So this is happening in many areas of our lives. It's happening in our careers. It's happening in our relationships. It's happening with food a lot of different things, right? We're just no longer willing to go along with something that doesn't resonate. And as you have these big breakthroughs and you change the things that you resonated with before you don't resonate with anymore. So, or not all of them, but some of them, right? So I wanna talk about food a little bit too, because many people, especially in my Patreon group, we talk about the food and how um, our food preferences are dramatically changing. So when you eat for light and you eat for life force, naturally you're gonna choose foods that contain life force, the bioactive and biogenic foods. And um, when we are naturally drawn to higher frequency foods, it's important to follow your inner guidance, your body's guidance on that, and notice how you feel after eating different things because you're gonna become increasingly aware of the energetics of food. So not just the flavor, not just the color and all of that, which is important too, but the energetics of it. How do you feel after consuming it? Do you feel lighter and better or do you feel heavy and tired? So foods that make you feel heavy and tired are slowing your body down, they're lowering your vibration. So you can feel the slowdown in your energy field. So the foods that really nourish you, you eat them and you feel energized afterward. Many of you have been in a spiritual detox, which also leads to an emotional detox, a mental detox and a physical detox. A mental detox is where you are getting rid of beliefs that no longer serve you, the limiting beliefs. An emotional detox is where you are getting rid of the stories that hold you in looping negative emotions. 
So this is how we're having completions, right? And then our bodies, of course, are going through a physical detox as well because each cell is clearing itself to hold more light. And we have increasing light coming in through the grid systems right now. So many of you may be noticing or may have recently noticed a lot of nostalgia, feelings of previous experiences back in your childhood. And this may bring up more and more memories about your childhood that you forgot about, things connected to trauma. So as children, we often compartmentalize these different things that happen and we make it mean something about ourselves and then we forget about it. And often children who haven't even developed language but are experiencing trauma don't know how to process that and it's locked in until the adult self goes back in and does the inner child work or does some other form of like somatic release or something like that. So when we clear these childhood traumas, we will start to encounter memories from other incarnations. So you can have ancient memories start to show up. One of them that I had recently, it was truly amazing. I was standing in a building that was on top of one of the huge trees from many, many years ago. The entire building was on a tree that had been cut down, but it was so large that you could see the rings on the floor. It was amazing. So a lot of these ancient memories are gonna start coming back in because we're reassembling our multidimensional spirit body, right? Our light body. And this can bring in ancient trauma as well. So some of the stuff that, that you feel isn't connected to this level of reality. It's connected to higher levels of reality. And those of you who feel you're here on a mission to make a difference in the world, a lot of you have those memories from higher realities that are coming online now, okay? So one of the big things that we need to look out for is distortions within our field and distortions within other people's fields and knowing the difference if it's yours or if it's theirs, okay? So as you increase in unity consciousness, you will start to feel people, you'll, you'll feel their bodies and you'll feel their feelings, their emotions. You'll hear their thoughts or you'll just have clear cognizance around um, what, they're, what they're thinking. You'll just suddenly know. It's not like you hear it word for word, you just have this knowing. And that's because we're becoming better and better at perceiving the data encoded in light. That's a multi-dimensional trait. Okay, so my friends, please join me on Patreon if you'd like to get into the simulation level of what's going on and other topics that we discuss over there. And if not, if this is where we part, thank you so much for being here. I will be back very soon. Um, I've got my recording studio set up and I, like I said at the beginning of this video, I have my life force back. I feel really good, I feel strong and I'm ready to be here for you. So if you got anything out of this video, please give it a like and subscribe. And I'm not turning on comments because there's way too many people impersonating others right now and I don't want anyone else to get sucked into any type of um, scam. I already lost my Instagram channel over that, right? So I have a new Instagram page and Every link that I have in the description will lead you to my actual pages. So don't follow it from anywhere else. I do everything through my own personal website and I never do written readings. Okay, so they're all, you have to be on the phone with me or the computer with me to get a reading from me. It's not gonna be through some written thing. Okay, that's how the scammers are working. All right, thank you again for being here. I appreciate you, I love you. You are amazing. I see so much light in the collective. I went from hopeless to very optimistic when I started looking out at all of the work you're doing on yourself. So thank you for doing that. You're amazing. Have a beautiful month and I'll be back very soon. Much love family.